Welcome to the city of Austin's transportation and public works department. Over the next few minutes, we'll take a look at how each division of TPW operates. But before we jump in, I want to introduce you to the director of our department, Richard Mendoza. Our department is responsible for a variety of public works, transportation, mobility and safety functions throughout the community. We are committed to providing the safest and most efficient, cost effective and sustainable roadway, bikeway, walkway and trail system for our community. And as Austin continues to be one of the fastest growing cities in the country, our team is also growing and adapting to ensure we serve the needs of Austinites and visitors for generations to come. Thank you, Richard. Now, before we dive into different divisions within the TPW department, I want to introduce you to a highly valued member of our team, the department's first ever equity office. In collaboration with our equity action team, I will be managing projects and teams uh, in the implementation of diversity, equity, and inclusion strategies. I will help our department's equity action plan and move it forward to develop strategies and steps to outreach into the community to ensure that we are using an equity and inclusion lens. As part of my charge, I will work with the Austin Equity Office, uh, community groups, stakeholders, uh, to ensure that we're meeting the needs of our community uh, so that we can be more inclusive as a city. Together, we will be working to apply an equity lens to the work that we do as a department to better serve the city of Austin. In the next few minutes, we will show you how each division of TPW works together to serve our community. And what better way to do that than creating a road from scratch? Our team designs, paves, stripes, marks, and manages roadway equipment from traffic signals all the way down to markings for parking spaces. The first step in designing a roadway is determining its need, and that is managed by our Systems Development Division. We have a small team uh, overseeing transportation planning and uh, project development. The planning work we do is long range in nature, planning what is transportation looks like 20 years into the future. And the project development work is the short range steps needed to implement the city's transportation plan, the Austin Strategic Mobility Plan. Our team is also responsible for regional environmental planning, conducting community engagement focused on equity, and implementing special projects in the ASMP, such as updating the transportation criteria manual. Our project development program takes uh, high level projects in the ASMP and starts to advance them uh, through the early engineering phases uh, before they get handed off to the project delivery uh, within ATD. Now, one of the founding principles of transportation and public works is ensuring the infrastructure we build is well maintained. The durability of your street's pavement to the lifespan of a bridge. All of those aspects are monitored by the city engineer. We provide an innovative, reliable and sustainable approach to the evaluation, maintenance and repair of the city's bridges right away and street infrastructure systems. We are able to do that while providing asset management, customer service and engineering reviews to support the department's goal of ensuring exceptional and sustainable quality of life for the residents of the city of Austin. Next, our department has to finalize engineering the roadway, and that's where the team within our transportation engineering division comes in. Under the authority of the city traffic engineer, Ted is almost always the first stop for majority of inquiries from outside of ATD. This includes residences, council offices, other city departments and partner agencies. So if you think of it this way, Ted serves as the face of ATD. We work with other divisions, departments, agencies, neighborhood groups, school campuses, and a variety of technical advisory groups to inform, review, and develop collaborative solutions to multimodal transportation challenges. And there's even more. We deliver projects from beginning to end in the areas of Vision Zero, transit enhancement, speed management, roadway grants, and other small-scale mobility and safety improvements that enhance the built environment. Designing a safe transportation network is a top priority for TPW, so our Vision Zero program identifies our top priority locations and works with both internal partners at the city and external partners to make progress towards our ambitious community goal of zero traffic-related fatalities and serious injuries on our roadways. Our team performs analysis of crash data to find insights that lead to prioritizing a department's work for safety related improvements. We also look at the data through an equity lens. 
to try and reduce the racial disparities we see in the data, as well as look for opportunities to coordinate and achieve other policy goals in our city. Safety improvements occur across our department, from signal timing and marked crosswalks to enforcing no vehicle parking in signed bicycle lanes. Additionally, there are a number of external partners we work with regularly, including community stakeholders, city departments like our public safety and public health groups, and other governmental agencies like Capital Metro and TxDOT. Working with our planners and engineers is a team that's critical to Austin achieving its mobility goal of having more people walking, biking, and using transit. That's our active transportation and street design team. Our role is to design and deliver multimodal street design projects uh, with a focus on making it safer for people walking, biking, taking micro mobility devices, and getting to and from transit. Our division focuses on three key areas. First of all, we our street design group that designs and delivers multimodal street design projects in service to safer and uh, better connections for people walking and biking and getting to transit. We also support design review for work across the city and the region um, with a focus on getting good multimodal outcomes out of all of our capital investments. And thirdly, we support the planning and policy consultation around multimodal infrastructure uh, and support our planners and other colleagues throughout the city in the planning and application of city policy around multimodal design. At any given time, we'll have upwards of 150 projects in active development, installation, construction, or celebration, uh, including what you see here, a two-way bikeway, as well as pedestrian crossings, uh, transit stops, and generally ways to make streets more complete, multimodal, safer, and more comfortable for everyone. Now there are nearly 3,000 miles of sidewalk throughout the city of Austin, but that's not nearly enough. The Sidewalk and Special Projects Division is finding innovative ways to fill in the gaps. Our team manages maintenance of the city's 2,800 miles of existing sidewalk and the ongoing effort to complete the pedestrian network by building 1,500 miles of new sidewalks and shared streets to address the gaps in the system. Our work is guided by the Americans with Disabilities Act and the city's sidewalk, crossing, and shared streets plan. The plan uses equity-based prioritization to direct the work of building and repairing sidewalks citywide. It ensures that neighborhoods with more vulnerable and historically marginalized populations have sidewalks that are as good or even slightly better than in the city as a whole. Over the last decade, the city has reconstructed hundreds of miles of sidewalks as we work to overcome decades of deferred maintenance. And we're making great progress, doubling the amount of functionally acceptable sidewalk in just the last seven years. But there's a lot more work to be done and our team will continue to lead the city's efforts to provide safe, comfortable, and accessible pedestrian passage along every street in Austin. Now, once a project has been approved, there needs to be set roles to ensure a timely and cost-effective completion. That's where the project delivery team joins in the fun. They work to ensure a centralized and predictable role in the delivery and constructions management for local and regional projects. Our division coordinates with the city departments and regional partners to design and construct collaborative transportation solutions throughout Austin. When a project gets the green light, we help put it in motion through the development of contracts, reporting on progress, financing and engaging with the community on the impacts of the construction. We are responsible for implementing safety and mobility improvements through several programs like bikeways, Vision Zero, and transit enhancement. Our team leads contract development for the Austin Mobility Bonds passed in 2016, 2018, and 2020. We also ensure all projects meet city requirements while providing the most value for city tax dollars. In a fast-growing city like ours, it's not always easy to predict where the next big development might take shape. But when development of any size is proposed, the Transportation Development Services team reviews those projects to determine how they will affect people's commutes, neighborhood traffic, and travel options, and how developments need to mitigate their impacts. When new development is proposed within the city of Austin, our division reviews the transportation items of those applications for compliance with the Land Development Code, the Transportation Criteria Manual, and the Austin Strategic Mobility Plan. We also examine the impacts those new developments will have on the transportation system and require those developments to reduce or mitigate their impacts. In December 2020, City Council passed 
ordinances to implement a street impact fee to help fund needed transportation infrastructure across Austin. Based on the type of development and the intensity of the proposed development, applicants are required to pay a fee to ATD for the construction of those transportation improvements. The Transportation Development Services Division is responsible for implementing the street impact fee and will work with other ATD divisions to move transportation projects from concept to reality. As our city continues to grow, the infrastructure on our roadways will become more of a focal point, and that's where the street and bridge operations come into play, working to provide preventative maintenance to an ever-growing population. We are responsible for the management and maintenance of oxygen right away infrastructure, including streets, bridges, and sidewalks. Our team consists of five divisions that oversees everything from patching potholes to the right of way maintenance on trees. The pavement operation team works in conjunction with the district maintenance team to provide preventive maintenance work to our roads. Austin contains thousands of miles of streets and our team use various methods to maintain them. That could be for anything from repaving, resurfacing to using crack seal and seal coat methods to prolong the life of our streets. Austin Urban Forest provides millions of dollars annually in social, economic, and environmental benefits to the community. And our urban forestry team is responsible for maintenance of that program. As the city continues to grow and develop, the urban forest remains an integral part of the Austin landscape, partly performing one of the most invaluable community members and infrastructure components. Lastly, our utility and structures team works with Austin utilities like Austin Water to repair cut utility lines as well as responding to scenes after storms. To make sure all users know how to use our roadway systems in a safe and efficient manner, signs and markings are essential to that effort. We install new and maintain existing sign and marking assets for the entire city of Austin. Those are everything from the center line stripe on Congress Avenue to crosswalks and stop signs in your neighborhood. And just to give you a quick snapshot, with the help of contractors, our staff have the responsibility to maintain over 120,000 signs, 6,400 crosswalks, 900 miles of long line markings, and countless RPMs, delineators, turtle bumps, green pa pads, and many, many other signs and markings assets throughout the city. And in our sign shop on Cameron Road, our staff hand make over 1,000 signs a month. Our work comes to us from ATD engineers and street designers, as well as from requests from citizens through 311. With signs and markings in place and engineers signing off, it's safe to use, the road is now open. Working hand in hand with our signs and marking team to ensure our roads are safe and functional is the Arterial Management Division. Welcome to our Mobility Management Center, or as we call it, our MMC. In many ways, the MMC is the cornerstone of our division. Staff here can communicate with 1,100 traffic signals and PHBs as well as over 575 school zone beacons and many other devices we maintain. From here, we can monitor traffic conditions on the screens you see behind me, dispatch technicians, and adjust signal timing due to construction, incidents, or for any other reason. In addition to constructing signals, our technicians respond to 311 calls 24 hours a day, investigate citizen concerns, and perform both routine and preventative maintenance. Our comm team manages over 250 miles of fiber optic cable, which allows the MMC to communicate with traffic signals and the 600 plus traffic cameras located throughout the city. Our design engineers and inspectors ensure our infrastructure is designed and constructed correctly. We can't forget the signal timing engineers who program the signals. Every year they retime one third of our signals to help reduce delays associated with the rapid growth in our city. Now it's important to note that TPW is an enterprise department and that means we are supported by the money we collect. That could be through voter approved bonds, the transportation user fee that accompanies utility bills across the city each month, fees paid by developers or fines and parking revenue. Those last two are managed by our parking enterprise division. The parking enterprise division manages city curb space, parking facilities and hired mobility services to balance the needs for residents, businesses and visitors to our city while promoting compliance with all pertinent city ordinances and regulations. Under our umbrella includes mobility, parking and enforcement services and mobility demand management. Our mobility services team authorizes ride for hire services, pedicab and chauffeur licenses, residential parking permits and evaluates new parking options that are interested in servicing Austin. Parking Services installs and maintains existing on-street parking systems as well as promotes programs 
and partnerships that reduce economic barriers for low-income employees. Our affordable parking program is a prime example of that, which allows downtown employees to park in participating garages at a significantly reduced rate. Our enforcement services team enforces local and state regulations related to parking permitted uses and for hire transportation services. That includes issuing citations and managing permitted activities for booting companies. And finally, our mobility demand management team authorizes various uses of curb space, including shared use transportation and curb access. This includes creating and managing commercial loading zones and identifying areas where vehicle turnover is vital to access for local businesses. New transportation technology is entering the marketplace almost daily. The city of Austin takes pride in being a testing ground for many of these technologies by allowing companies to temporarily use our right of way to see how their products work in a real world environment. Our smart mobility office leads these partnerships. Our team focuses on emerging mobility, placemaking and transportation demand management. Innovation underlies everything we do. We leverage public-private partnerships to test emerging mobility technologies like connected vehicles and intersection safety analytics. These tests offer a preview of the technology that may soon arrive on Austin streets. And in this way, smart mobility helps TPW to manage emerging technology that is on the horizon. The placemaking program strives to connect community, art, and function by creating space for community members to gather. As an example, our Art Box initiative transforms traffic signal cabinets into pieces of art that represent meaningful community expression for those who live, work, and visit nearby. The Transportation Demand Management Program aims to get people to consider sustainable modes of transportation, like public transit, carpools, and bikes, instead of driving a car alone. The foundation of the Smart Mobility Office is built on education and behavior change as a vital way to help us adopt new technology and new commuting habits as we move into the future. Now, once a roadway is open, needs along it are not finished. There may be a block party that takes place or construction that requires a temporary lane closure or detour. Those issues are handled by our right of way management division. Our division provides planning and coordination for all activities in the right of way to protect existing infrastructure, minimize public inconvenience, and ensure public and worker safety during construction and other temporary uses of the public right of way. Our permitting and project coordination team handles about 30,000 requests a year. Working in the right of way or row requires a permit. These permits cover work by our department and sister departments, utilities, private development, and special events. At any given time, more than 3,500 permits may be active. Our traffic control plan review team ensures traffic control plans met national, state, and local requirements and practices. They review about 3,000 plans a year and review for safety and mobility needs. The Utility Coordination Program provides information on utilities for project design to avoid utility conflicts and prevent utility hits. Both public and private utilities participate in the program, which handles about 700 cases a year. Finally, the inspection and enforcement team ensures city code is followed by checking that work is permitted and has adhered to approved conditions. The team also addresses safety and mobility issues with a focus on protecting infrastructure from damage or unsafe conditions. Private construction projects that involve the city's right-of-way infrastructure require certain permits and oversight. For that, we go to our land development team. Our division is split into two teams, land development and land management. Our land management team assists the public with obtaining rights for the use of city right-of-way and easements like streets, sidewalks, and public utilities through a variety of ways. Our land development team is responsible for ensuring ADA compliance on projects that impact the city's right-of-way. The city has been experiencing a lot of construction rework due to actual field conditions differing from the design plans. To avoid this work in the future, our team conducts constructability reviews to help resolve any potential construction issues during the design phase. These reviews can lead to enhanced quality, a reduction in changes, and overall cost savings. Our department is constantly evolving to make Austin a more enjoyable place for our community members. Our community services team worked with various partners to make it happen. Our team works to find the best ways to partner with you to make the city of Austin a better place for all our residents. We oversee several programs, including Safe Routes to School, the Urban Trails Program, and the Neighborhood Partnering Program. The Safe Routes to School Program helps children pick the best ways to get to school, 
through crossing guards, education, outreach, and infrastructure projects. We try to make sure elementary and middle school students across Austin can walk, bike, and roll safely. Through our neighborhood partnering program, Austin residents can work together to enhance the places they live, work, and play. Over 70 community-initiated projects have been completed since the program first launched in 2010. The City of Austin currently has around 60 miles of urban trails. These wide paved trails are built to connect with our sidewalks and bike networks, linking neighborhoods, community, resources, and green spaces across the city. Our team creates, promotes, and maintains this growing network. The goal for this network is to help people of all ages and abilities travel from one end of the city to another in a safe and healthy way. Some events require road closures that span several blocks, could attract large crowds, or require coordination with other departments. That is why we created the Office of Special Events, which works with the city's Austin Center for Events. We are the Division of Transportation that issues special event permits within the right-of-way. Those range from small neighborhood block parties, to parades, to runs and races, as well as large events like ACL and South by Southwest. We work with event promoters to reduce impact on mobility during the event. This ensures a pleasant experience for both the citizens of Austin and the event participants. We coordinate our efforts with other city departments and outside entities like Austin Police, Fire, and EMS, or local and state agencies like CAP Metro and TxDOT. Coordination between the various entities requires months of pre-planning for a special event. Our team is part of the city's Austin Center for Events, or ACE. ACE is a group of city departments designed to review and permit special events. Now getting the word out is critical, be it a football game, a street festival, or just to highlight the work of TPW team members. The Public Information Office is our department's voice to the community. We are here to amplify all the work of our ATD colleagues and we are also the primary contact for all media calls. We also handle all community engagement within the department. Reporters can reach us directly on our dedicated media line at 512-974-8000. Likewise, engage us the moment you're contacted by a news outlet so we can vet the request, schedule the interview, and work with you to craft talking points. We're also telling great stories about the important work you all do. We post information, photos, and videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We also publish both a weekly and monthly e-newsletter. Look for the Austin Mobility Newsletter every Monday in your email inbox. Please complete our PIO service request form whenever you need help creating public-facing collateral. This could include stakeholder updates, project advisories, or construction notifications. We look forward to collaborating with you soon. Data is key to our decision making. We have a team of software engineers, geospatial analysts, and others who make up our data and technology services division. Our team provides high quality data and modern technologies to support Austin Transportation staff. We empower them to improve operations, make data informed decisions, and deliver excellent mobility services to the Austin community. Whether we build or buy software, we are obsessed with efficiency and we default to open and transparent data. Tracking our revenue and spending is critical to ensuring we use taxpayer dollars efficiently and remain able to deliver our projects on time and, if possible, under budget. Handling those tasks is our finance division. Our group monitors and analyzes departmental revenue, expenditures, and financial activities to ensure city resources are being utilized in an ethical and effective manner that demonstrates financial stewardship. The team identifies internal controls that provide oversight for financial transactions while supporting the business units to achieve their goals. We align transportation investments with the city's established goals for all transportation modes to support the Austin Strategic Mobility Plan and the Austin Strategic Housing Blueprint. We identify and implement equitable and sustainable funding models to supply, operate, maintain, and renew transportation assets and programs that meet the community's mobility needs. We ensure that the department's business is resourced appropriately to provide a consistent, sustainable service to our community and residents. Well, throughout the day, you will learn more about the functions of TPW and the practices and policies we have here to ensure this is a safe and respectful workplace. I encourage you to reach out to our department leaders at any time if you need help or are curious about something. Together, we can do great things to move our city forward. Welcome to the team.